Exploding Head Syndrome EHS, may sound like something from a campy horror flick, but it's not as gory as it sounds. It's a sleep disorder characterized by hearing a loud imaginary sound, similar to an explosion while falling asleep or waking up, and a type of sensory parasomnia. Keep watching to learn more about EHS, why it happens, and what you should do if you wake up suddenly because you hear a loud noise or explosion in your head. What is Exploding Head Syndrome, EHS? EHS is a sleep disturbance, also known as episodic cranial shock, and is characterized by undesirable sensory events experienced during sleep. These episodes are described as explosions, gunshots, thunder, crashes, or other thunderous sounds. They last less than a second and can occur along with flashes of light, muscle jerks, and feelings of distress. The frequency of EHS episodes varies from one person to another. Some people may experience one attack every few nights, while others may have several attacks during a single night. Moreover, the same person might experience episodes several nights in a row, followed by days, weeks, or even months without an attack. What causes EHS? Scientists still need to find out what exactly causes EHS. However, several theories have been proposed regarding the cause of the disorder, including 1. A brief increase in the activity of the brain's sensory neurons during the transition between wakefulness and sleep. 2. Complex partial seizures within the temporal lobe. 3. Inner ear structure damage or dysfunction. 4 the brain abnormally processing external sounds during the sleep-wake transition, causing regular sounds to sound like loud bangs while sleeping. 5. An aura before a migraine episode, making one sensitive to light and sound. 6. A side effect of suddenly stopping anxiety medications or antidepressants. 7. A gene mutation, causing a dysfunction in the transient calcium channel. 8 uncontrolled anxiety and stress. How is EHS diagnosed? Currently, there's no definitive diagnostic test for EHS, but a sleep specialist can make a diagnosis based on the following clinical criteria. One, you suddenly wake up to a loud sound or explosion in the head. Two, you feel frightened or distressed after the episode. Three, you don't experience any physical pain associated with the event. A sleep disorder specialist might also ask whether you experienced any associated symptoms, such as flashing lights or muscle jerks. You may need to undergo specific tests to rule out other health conditions, including a sleep study, an MRI, or an EEG. Keep watching because we're about to take a look at how to treat EHS and if you should be concerned if you have the disorder. What's the treatment for EHS? EHS is a benign condition that usually doesn't require treatment. Nonetheless, recurring episodes can become very distressing for the individual experiencing them. There aren't any drugs approved to treat EHS. However, if the episodes become severely distressing, your healthcare provider may prescribe one of the following medications that have been effective in reducing symptoms of EHS in some instances, including antidepressants, anti-seizure, and high blood pressure medication. Can the frequency of EHS be reduced? Talking to your healthcare provider about any factors triggering EHS episodes is essential. The following steps can help you manage EHS and stop it from happening frequently. Step one, identify and address stress triggers. Step two, maintain consistent healthy sleep habits. Step three, treat any coexisting sleep disorders such as sleep paralysis or sleep apnea. Is EHS dangerous? People with EHS have a good outlook. This condition isn't necessarily bad or a sign of a dangerous health condition. The frequency and intensity of episodes can decrease after reassurance from your healthcare provider. With time, EHS can completely resolve. 
Consult a sleep specialist if you suddenly wake up from sleep because you hear loud sounds or explosions in your head. Rest assured that EHS is not harmful and can go away with time. Help is available.